Nuclear fission is when you send the nuclear neutron of one atom into the nucleus of another one and split it while releasing energy from that atom. 16-year-old Steve Gendon thinks he might be Mensa material. He is one of the people in charge of 43,000 Boy Scouts nationwide in a project to design space shuttle experiments for NASA. When Steve was 15, he was hired by Bechtel Power Corporation, where he participated in computer safety studies of nuclear power plants. He's the same type of dog that they have in Frasier, and here's the same dog that they used in The Mask, and I think he looks like one of the dogs in the RCA Victor ads now, too, the little baby one. I think every person with HIV is scared. I mean, this illness is so unpredictable and so varied that you can be completely healthy one day and really sick the next day. Lots and lots of drugs that have been sort of discarded because they developed resistance too quickly as single agent uses, but that there are seven or eight discarded drugs and a lot of them that are right now being developed, that if I could take all ten of them starting tomorrow, a year from now, my T cells would be back close to normal. And I really believe that. And I don't know why anybody doesn't talk about taking things, not in two drugs combinations, seven drugs, or eight drugs, or nine drug combinations, and why somebody doesn't say, like, just go and steal some of the stuff from everybody and start taking it tomorrow and a year later say, look, my T-cells have gone way, way up. I mean, I would love, to, I mean, I would be perfectly happy to take ten different things starting tomorrow. As for Steve, he definitely was Mensa material. His letter of acceptance arrived a few days later. Were his parents pleased? I guess they were happy about it. I told them probably about a day or two later after it happened. Hi, Steve. What you got? Ah, uh, nothing. All right. I was relieved. I had dropped him on his <laughs> head when he was about six months old. <laughs> This is our altar, and it's where we put things that have significance to us. It can be gifts from people, it can be little reminders from different trips we took. The thing people tell you is don't wait until you're really sick with HIV to you know, start doing the things you want to do, because you know, then it might be too late. There's so much stress that I have to deal with, and probably everybody has to deal with that, that having something that brings joy is really important. I think I've led a very, you know, l lucky life. Okay, one, what does Jesse Helms has nothing to do with AIDS research? I would much rather kill Tony Fauci than Jesse Helms. <laughs> 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 <laughs>